Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the Mirage 504 drone. We want to explain its history, specs, missions, and final summary. Our style is casual and simple, so everyone can easily understand. Stay with us until the end and watch carefully, please. Mirage 504 is a low-cost and lightweight platform made locally. Its design comes from the earlier training drone Mirage 214, basically. Development started a few years earlier inside IRGC ground projects. Official unveiling happened at an internal exhibition in Tehran first. Mirage 504 is a delta wing drone with foldable wings for ease. Its weight is around 30 to 40 kilograms approximately. Range is about 100 kilometers, good for tactical missions. Altitude and speed are enough for low-level flight requirements. It uses a small piston engine powered by gasoline fuel today. The nose carries a warhead of about 2.5 kilograms. Because it is light, it is effective against soft targets only. A camera and control system allow remote human guidance properly. Mirage 504 launches without runway using a mobile launcher platform. There is no recovery since it is a kamikaze strike drone. This design keeps production costs very low and affordable, really. Its simple structure allows mass production quickly inside Iran. The main role is hitting vehicles, bunkers, and small positions. It cannot destroy heavy tanks or hardened targets very effectively. In asymmetric fights and close support, it becomes very valuable. Also, its low cost makes it popular for cheap battlefield tactics. So far, there is no confirmed combat record officially available. But in domestic exercises, the drone has been used many times. Reports suggest light suicide drones were used in regional clashes. Western sources worry about Iran expanding such cheap capabilities. Production numbers are unknown officially and not published anywhere yet. Still, its simple design suggests large-scale manufacturing is possible. Main user is IRGC ground forces with tactical field units. Export or international sales have not been reported at all. Compared to Mohajer or Shahed drones, Mirage is much lighter. Shahed and Mohajer have longer range and heavier strike loads. Mirage is designed for close tactical use, not long distances. Each system fills a unique role inside the broader Iranian strategy. Analysts say cheap drones are reshaping the rules of battle. With small cost, a drone can deliver a tactical strike. Smaller forces can harass and exhaust the enemy efficiently indeed. But accuracy against armored heavy targets remains clearly limited though. Production cost of Mirage is lower than foreign models significantly. For example, Switchblade 300 from America is several times pricier. Iran can build many units with the same small budget. This makes it attractive for low-intensity, asymmetric battlefield scenarios. Compared with larger drones like Shahed, Mirage is very agile. It has short range but moves faster and easier in sky. Launching from simple trucks or cars is extremely straightforward now. This flexibility has given IRGC ground forces major tactical mobility. In Araz exercises and others, Mirage was spotted in real use. Footage shows it hitting targets accurately with direct control. That means the operator adjusts path while viewing live image. This offers relatively good accuracy despite its small warhead size. 100 km range may sound limited but still valuable. For border fights or raids against small groups, it is enough. Because of the range, long-range strategic missions are impossible here. So its primary value remains inside local tactical battlefield use. The 2.5 kg warhead is modest but useful. It can disable light vehicles or small bunkers with precision. Enemy infantry groups are also vulnerable to direct suicide attack. The drone is designed exactly for these kinds of cases. Foreign analysts say Iran uses drones to drain enemy resources. By spending little, they can stress expensive defense systems heavily. This point has worried several countries watching Iran's drone expansion. 
Pentagon has repeatedly warned about the growing Iranian drone threat. Another advantage is that it is very portable by soldiers. A small crew can carry, assemble, and launch it easily. No airfield or heavy equipment is required in this situation. That gives forces flexibility and mobility across tough terrains easily. Mirage 504 still lacks public detail about exact guidance technology, but likely it uses simple GPS navigation combined with onboard camera. Operator receives live feed and steers it directly into target. That reduces error and increases accuracy of the final hit. Iranian experts describe Mirage as a symbol of local self-sufficiency. Its design is fully domestic and avoids dependence on imports. Production is faster and cheaper than foreign models despite sanctions. This ensures Iran can keep building regardless of outside pressure. Alongside Mirage, drones like Mahajur 6 are also in service. Mahajur is for reconnaissance and heavy weapon carriage generally speaking but Mirage is only for kamikaze short-range suicide operations. This shows Iran has wide diversity across its drone fleet. From recon to strike to kamikaze, all roles are covered. Shahed-136 is larger and much more powerful comparatively. Its range reaches a thousand kilometers with heavy 30-kilogram warhead. It's made for long-range attacks on distant strategic targets. Mirage is smaller, cheaper, and faster for close tactical roles. Experts argue Iran gains strong advantage with this varied portfolio. They can field small, medium, and large drones as required. This diversity means enemies cannot predict Iranian drone strategy easily. Each drone family has its own place and unique value. In future, Mirage might be upgraded with better features indeed. Maybe longer range or bigger warhead could be added later. But even now, it already plays its intended tactical role. Cheap and light, it will remain part of Iranian doctrine. So, to summarize, Mirage 504 is a light suicide drone. It is low cost, domestically made, and tested in many drills. Against light targets at short range, it is quite effective. Overall, it represents an important piece of Iran's diverse drone fleet.